Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition Stop Stories. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney says government will provide COVID-19 vaccines for every St. Lucian. The national vaccination campaign is ramping up with vaccination sites set up island-wide. And the Cabinet of Ministers approves a new protected area in St. Lucia. The arrival here of 25,000 doses of the Covishield AstraZeneca vaccine has significantly boosted St. Lucia's ability to manage and mitigate the impacts of COVID-19. And Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney says government is working assiduously with other governments and international agencies to procure enough vaccines to have every St. Lucian vaccinated. Noting that accessing vaccines is a tedious process, both in relying on approval from the global health organizations and fighting through the crowded field of countries who are buying, Honorable Chastney assured that government will pursue all avenues to have St. Lucians protected. Only three weeks ago, AstraZeneca was approved. So this is a very current situation. In the case of India, India only manufactures AstraZeneca, but it's not licensed by the government of India. And so this donation is especially um, gratifying because India took their allocation of AstraZeneca and shared it not only with St. Lucia and the Caribbean, but with many other countries around the world. India is also producing several vaccines of their own. In fact, I believe that the vaccine that Prime Minister Modi took today was one of India's own vaccines. And we are anticipating that one of those vaccines actually will be approved by the WHO very shortly. And we have made arrangements to both get a donation as well as to be able to purchase the remaining number of vaccines through that mechanism. The vaccine will not only help in reducing transmission of the virus, but it will also reduce severe COVID-19 infection, hospitalization and death. The AstraZeneca vaccine will also help in reducing pressures of treatment and care on the healthcare system and limit the impact of COVID-19. For this reason, the Prime Minister is encouraging all citizens to get vaccinated. Sadly, there are stories that are out there that are causing persons to second guess whether they should be vaccinated or not. Um, I'm hoping that by my example and soon the example of the rest of my cabinet, by the example of the other leaders of this country, that persons would be encouraged to take the vaccine, not only to protect yourself, but to protect everyone else. As a caring government, our responsibility is to protect all of you. But we also do that in the context of your own civil rights. And hopefully we can convince you to do the right thing. Our job is to make sure the vaccine is here, the vaccine that is available to you has been certified and approved by WHO. The rest of it is you. You have to agree to take that vaccine. Health Minister Senator Honorable Mary Isaac has thanked the Republic of India for playing a pivotal role in the global fight against COVID-19. And of course, to the government and people of India, we salute you here in St. Lucia. You are the first agency organization country that volunteered to offer us vaccines here in St. Lucia. So we are extremely grateful for these vaccines and we know that we will continue to get the assistance of the government and people of India in our fight against COVID-19. Meantime, the national vaccination campaign is ramping up. The administering of vaccines in St. Lucia began on Wednesday, February 17, 2021, and for the past two weeks, it has been focused on vaccinating those who are at the highest risk of being exposed to the virus, that is, healthcare workers in clinical settings, first responders, security service personnel, and other frontline workers. All of these personnel are within Phase 1A of the vaccination campaign, and as such, were given first priority for receiving the vaccine. With the arrival of the 25,000 doses, the Ministry of Health is continuing to vaccinate frontliners and the most vulnerable. Tekla Jabatis is the Assistant Principal Nursing Officer responsible for immunization. 
The national COVID-19 vaccination campaign will continue with our frontline workers and phase 1B will also commence. In phase 1B, people who are 65 years and older, residents of elderly homes, and people living with chronic health conditions will be vaccinated. As such, phases 1A and 1B will be taking place at the same time. In the coming weeks, vaccination will be extended to the thousands of St. Lucians who have registered for the COVID-19 vaccine. Announcements of these shall be made by the Ministry of Health of the schedule of these other phases in preparation of their commencement. Vaccination sites have been identified across the island and began operating on Tuesday, March 2, 2021 at the Rich for Human Resource Center and T. Roche Miku Wellness Center. Wednesday, March 3, 2021, Bexon Wellness Center. Thursday, March 4, 2021, Deriso Parish Hall. Friday, March 5th, 2021, Marigo Secondary School, Denry Seventh day Adventist Church, Makewood Multipurpose Center, Library Wellness Center, and the Schwozel Fisheries Complex. And on Saturday, March 6, 2021, Philip Masley Grounds, Viewfort. This phase is expected to last about eight weeks and the campaign will then smoothly transition into its third phase, vaccinating the rest of the population. People who have decided to receive the COVID-19 vaccine are encouraged to register via the online platform at www.hmi.govt.lc or call your nearest community wellness center. Also on Saturday, March 6, 2021, the Grosley Resource Center will be in operation as a vaccination site. You are to work with a form of identification to facilitate the registration process. You are encouraged to work with a light snack and water given the waiting time to get vaccinated. On the heels of its 61st anniversary, the Boys Training Center successfully managed its first COVID-19 scare. Details in this report. Select staff of the Boys Training Center are being commended for their dedication during the isolation of wards who were awaiting COVID-19 test results in February 2021. This was the first encounter that the BTC had with the threat of this virus. We had to take the action of isolating a few of them to ensure, whilst we waited for the results, to ensure that they had not been affected by COVID. And I must say that there are four staff members that I will mention who took it upon their own, who recommended to me that they were willing to be with the boys during the time that they were in isolation. When we know that other persons, rightly so, would have had their misgivings about the virus and what the consequences of them contracting that virus will be, um, could be. That was BTC director Wang Sonson. He singled out for praise Denver Reynolds, Michael Alfred, Jonathan Alcide, and Keith Fontenelle. The coronavirus is the center's latest challenge in its 61-year history. Aspiring for excellence amidst adversity is the theme guiding this year's anniversary commemoration. A scaled-down ceremony was recently held, during which staff entertained and edified the wards with performances that captured the work of the institution since its inception in 1960. We went back into the history of the center and we had dramatization from various staff members showing the boys exactly what the center have been through throughout the 61 years of existence. Um, they really appreciated it, and you could see that they enjoyed um, the portrayals put on by various staff members. So, all in all, it was a success. Sonson encouraged the staff to continue working in the best interest of the wards and encouraged the support of the wider community in fulfilling the institution's mandate. We are a juvenile detention center and there will have issues arising. But what I can say is that our aim is and has always been to work in the best interest of the boys that we have here. 
and it has, it has been evident, especially last year, 2020, two boys further gained um, qualifications in CVQ. Um, we have a number of therapeutic programs that the boys are part of. The latest undertaking at the center is the construction of a new building that will serve as a security hut and visiting area. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting. The government of Taiwan has provided some 2.5 million EC dollars towards a project aimed at retrofitting existing classrooms to become smart classrooms, reflecting the integration of information and communications technologies into the education system in St. Lucia. The Smart Classrooms last Wednesday was launched at the Patricia D. James Secondary School. The Department of Education aims to equip all schools with smart classrooms so that the students can begin to experience 21st century learning and teaching. Peter Louise is the acting principal at the Patricia D. James Secondary School. The aim of every school is to nurture smart citizens. And what better way to achieve this objective by creating a smart classroom environment? As we are aware that smart classrooms are technology-enhanced classrooms that fosters opportunities for teaching and learning by integrating learning technologies such as computers, specialized software, audience response technology, assistive listening devices, networking, and audiovisual capabilities. With the COVID-19 virus, which now confronts us, the use of technology has taken front stage in the teaching learning process. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and General Relations, Michelle Charles, expressed gratitude to the government of Taiwan for its continued investment in St. Lucia. Because every time I get called to one of these um, launches of our smart classrooms, I realize that we're closer to achieving our goals at the Ministry of Education, the goal of, integ of integrating technology into education. For us, Occasions such as these really show that we are moving in the right direction and these actions are well aligned with the vision of the ministry in that matter. Of course, at the Ministry of Education, we have a broad ecosystem of e-education and this is just one component of it. But every time it happens, I recognize that we are definitely doing the right things for our students and for our teachers. And I mention the teachers because the environment in which we're working is changing. It's not education or instruction as we knew it before. And sometimes we find persons among us who are a bit averse to embracing the technology. But when we move forward, when we provide the, the devices and the necessary infrastructure that teachers can use, it shows that the ministry is really prepared to help them move in the right direction. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, highlighted the significance of ICT in education. ICT in Education Project is a significant initiative implemented by the government of Taiwan and St. Lucia to build smart classrooms in St. Lucia and empowers teachers and students by embedding ICT into teaching and learning experiences. There are many development priorities for a country, but education is of the paramount importance. Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer is the Chief Education Officer in the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations. It is a tool that we cannot move away from that our students need in order to function as global citizens. So I do not want us to only think of it as a gift, I want to think of it as a necessity. And because the necessity, we appreciate it, we are grateful for it, and so we are going to use it effectively, use it respectfully, and ensure that it comes back to add value to the lives of the students entrusted into our care at the Patricia D. James Secondary School. Smart classroom equipment was presented to the Patricia D. James Secondary School last week. The Cabinet of Ministers has approved a new protected area in St. Lucia. Hermadi Mark reports on what is considered the oldest historic site on island. 
A portion of land and marine space at Dauphin Bay, located in Moshi Grosely, has been declared a protected area by the Cabinet of Ministers. The request was made by the National Conservation Authority, NCA, through the support of the Parliamentary Representative for Grosely, Honorable Leonard Spider Montoot. With the approval of this request, the site is a protected area for the purpose of preserving and enhancing the natural beauty of the area, its fauna and flora, as well as creating a recreational area or national park. On Thursday, February 25, 2021, a team of 25 individuals representing 14 organizations conducted a site visit of the Dufe Valley. Honorable Leonard Spider Montoot explains the plans for the development of the area. Um, already, the area, the certain parts of the area here have been designated protective areas by, by cabinet. And so we are going to look at the wider area with the assistance of fisheries, uh, forestry and planning to, es to establish the boundaries of the projects, the projects that will be taking place here. And of course, we want to ensure that we preserve quite a lot, like I said, the archaeological, archaeological sites like the Petrocliff and uh, bring out the history of, of Dauphin as a whole. And what we, will happen ultimately is that we're going to have tours here in Dauphin. We're going to have, you know, there's some certain kinds of development that will fit in with the natural environment that will not in any way destroy what is naturally here. As you can see, here is a naturally beautiful site that we want to preserve as much as possible. According to Justin Zali, General Manager of the NCA, the visit proved very productive due to the number of agencies represented. Today we had we had organizations from you know representing a wide cross section of the society um, here today. All of them will be part of this project because we want to make this area a, a national park. And as the minister said, um, we have the community, the community of, of La Bonne, Dauphin, Moshi, um, they will benefit from whatever it is that will be taking place here. Tourism officer Timothy Ferdinand says the project is highly anticipated and exemplifies community tourism. We just want to encourage persons in the community who are seeing this to ensure they are part of the process. Don't be afraid to come and contribute to any level of development happening in your community. And the Ministry of Tourism will see to it that we set the right foundation in terms of assisting the NCA, um, the Ministry of Social Transformation in putting together the right committee, the right set of individuals who will manage the process going forward. Cabinet also approved the establishment of a Dufet Tourism Development Committee headed by the NCA. From the Government Information Service, Hilmeti Mark reporting. The Ministry of Agriculture continues to make strides in increasing the protection of the team in the Pridia Larceny Unit. Keeping hands clean is important for good health. However, after a disaster, staying clean is hard to do, especially if there is no pipe-borne water. Simple things you can do to stay clean and remain healthy are wash your hands with soap and clean water. If these are not available, sanitizers with alcohol are options. Wash your hands many times during the day before preparing food, eating, caring for a sick person or baby, treating a cut, wound, or sore. Wash hands after using the bathroom, changing diapers, caring for animals, caring for sick or injured persons, after handling garbage. Washing your hands is one of the best ways to prevent illness. For further information, contact the Bureau of Health Education at telephone number 468-5349. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle of We All. La main propre c'est chimé bon santé. Il est absolument nécessaire pour laver la main si vous voulez tenir bon santé. Quand même si vous pas ni glossitaine ou ça fait ces bagages là. Coutez. Lavez la main souvent et puis l'eau net avec savon après condition qui ca simer vermine. Par exemple, on est pour laver la main après vous changer d'ailleurs pas, servir très vite, occuper monde qui blessé et ben malade, après vous occuper les animaux et après vous entamer zordi. Et si vous pas ni glo, on ça servir ça yo ca couiller hand sanitizer et ben alcool pour 30 secondes. Lavez la main souvent, ça c'est une manière pour empêcher maladie. Si vous voulez plus d'informations, priez Bureau Information Santé à numéro 468-5349. Welcome back. 
We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle of We All. Merci au temps, Janelle. Monsieur, Madame, Department qui n'est responsable pour les formations en gouvernement de cette ci GIS, à ce moment télévision nationale, puis à NTN, qui a posé une nouvelle en créole, posé une Primus Hutchinson. Pour une deuxième fois, le pays indien a allongé la main charitable pour cette ci et puis la vaccine AstraZeneca, un effort pour continuer à battre la maladie corona qui a décambré le PPA. Lundi, le 1er mois de mars 2021, un avion hot system sécurité oui, Rio Caribla RSS te posé à son aéroport George F. Charles à la Vigie et puis 25 000 doses de la vaccine à la hot pays de la République India. C'est ici, c'est un plusieurs pays qui recevait gros assistance à la vaccine AstraZeneca. À parmi ces lots là, ces pays en région, Caribla, ça c'est pays Caribla même, euh, Afrique, l'Amérique latine, à parmi les autres. Pièce ces pays ça pas tenir pour payer pas yon centime. Il a déjà payé plus que 22 millions de doses de la vaccine en bas programme ça là. Le représentatif en grand bureau indien, Madame Mando Asasni, As Asnani, déclaré qu'il a déjà fait en haut de 15 millions de tests de maladie corona et que j'ai trouvé Jérusalem en haut de 97 et et moins de 1 de monde qui est passé à résultat de la maladie. Selon Mme Aznani, le pays India a un secours pour la majorité des pays à la terre euh, et puis dose la vaccine. Et c'est toujours des gouvernements indiens pour assister les pays qui sont plus pauvres et plus visibles. C'est ça. Le Premier ministre de l'Essie, Honorable Alain Chasney, qui dit qu'il est très appréciable pour des assistance qui le Premier ministre India a connu de continuer pour le pays CARICOM. Si le Premier ministre Chasney, CARICOM doit India une gratitude, une grande dette de gratitude pour la quantité de support que j'ai bâillé en plusieurs années qui passent. C'est la vaccine qui a véritablement aidé et forcé pour conduire le programme de la vaccine PIA qui a commencé depuis mercredi le 17 au mois de février 2021. Pour ces deux semaines qui passent, c'est seulement les gens qui étaient en risque pour trouver la maladie de corona qui ont reçu la dose de la vaccine. Ça veut dire que travailler la santé, par exemple, docteur, nurses, les gens qui ont reçu uh, qui ont service de sécurité, à parmi l'autre. Si même ici, pour que la vaccine puisse continuer. Et puis les travailleurs qui sont plus exposés, mais face à la qui apporté attention principalement à ce monde qui a l'âge 65 ans en montant avec plus grand citoyen avec les plus grands citoyens qui a dans une institution des occupations avec monde qui j'ai souffert et puis mauvais maladie qu'on puisse à dou pressure battement de chair cancer parmi l'autre c'est aussi qu'a séparé ces doses la vaccine là ça c'est la vaccine et puis pays la grenade même quand le pays Dominique et Baba ont fait pour lui, ça c'est pour cette liste. Le Premier ministre euh, Honorable Alain Chasney a annoncé qu'il a dit qu'il a 5 000 doses, 5 000 doses, 2 000, 5 000 doses, 5 000 doses, et 5 000 doses, 5 000 doses. En cette semaine, pour venir, plusieurs mille citoyens qui ont enregistré qu'ils ont reçu la vaccine contre la maladie de Corona. Et avant la nouvelle bout, je vais vous informer concernant ces places-là qui ont euh, qui a préparé pour que les gens aient pour recevoir dans la vaccine. Le président pour l'association des travailleurs médecins, c'est le docteur Moulklak, fait comprendre que les gens ont trouvé la fièvre, et bien, pas qu'à sentir qu'ils ont été cordiales après qu'ils ont pris la vaccine, c'est faux, c'est une condition qui est normale, c'est ça normal. Ça, c'est le docteur Clark. Condition qui moun ka senti après yo recevoir yon dose de la vaccine, ça montre que ko moun sa la en bonne santé et le système li ka travail comme doit être. Ça, c'est, ça veut dire, c'est le docteur Clark, c'est ko moun sa la ka senti ko la nion étranger en vente li. Alors, il ka fait moun en savs sa ki a dit d'ailleurs. Docteur Clark ajoute ki, si après yon moun recevoir yon la vaccine et il pas après il trouvait la vaccine il pas senti pièce condition qui pas confortable 
ça qu'on a dit les professionnels santé timiet si immune système ou sou ka une maladie ou pa nan la fièvre a de l'infection a de la ça ka concerne plus parce que ça 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 mean système ou mieux nous pas qu'à faire ça et vous avez fait. Sur la fièvre, ça va être normal. Type de nos aines, ça va être normal. Injection, c'est une injection. Ça, tout ça normal. Et tout vaccin, pas seulement vaccin ça là. Docteur Clark, avouez qui à présent les professionnels de santé plus indiqués concernant les maladies coronaires et qui ont savent que la vaccine a aidé pour faire bataille contre coronaire pour protéger mon plus mais qui yon qui pas pris la vaccine. Parce que ça nous veut faire c'est make sure mon pas qu'à mort avant ça yo et mon pas qu'à une maladie tellement soyez uh, yon ne peut um, end up l'hôpital mm-hmm. ou qu'à mort parce que end up l'hôpital a de l'eau brise oxygène ou ça mon on veut empêcher ça et c'est mm-hmm. ça vaccine le café et plus peu pièces l'autre bagaille parce que pas pour dire l'eau pour vaccine non ou pas qu'à ou pas ça j'ai joué covid 100% mm-hmm. la bannie pièces vaccine qui ça fait ça et pas mm-hmm. only pour covid Pièces l'autre va toutes ces autres vaccins à nous n'y a pas qu'à pêcher 100%. Donc so, même flu vaccin um, nous qui voit nous après tous les années hein, y a pas qu'à 100% à pêcher. Mais ça y a ça fait, ça y a qu'à faire, ça pêche au rien la maladie qui tellement mauvais ou qu'à ou qu'à être appelé pour l'hôpital ou ou qu'à être mort. Donc so, c'est ça nous cache, il fait que là nous cache avec vaccin. Ah ben comment déjà pour mettre tout à commencement nouvelle là à présent. Nous avons informé à ces places-là, à côté de la ça visité pour trouver la vaccine AstraZeneca. Le ministère de la Santé a informé le public que le programme de la vaccine a commencé et que c'est pour seulement les gens qui ont l'âge 65 ans et plus haut, les plus grands citoyens qui ont des institutions de désoccupation et les gens qui ont souffert et plus mauvaises maladies, comme on a déjà expliqué plus bonnet. Le ministère de la Santé a encouragé les gens pour enregistrer particulièrement ancien wellness center communio commencé depuis mardi le deuxième en mois de mars il était human resource center en rich fond en valley mabuya et un wellness center à tiroche miku mercredi le troisième en mois de mars c'est un wellness center à besson jeudi le 4 mars c'est à kaila powers à deriso vendredi le 5 mars c'est un resource center à gozile multi purpose center à babono aussi à à l'école secondaire Marigo à l'école aussi à l'église Saint Adventis à Denry et à multi-purpose center à Miku à Wellness Center à Labori et à Fisheries Complex à Choisey samedi le 6 mars il y aura un resource center à Gozile et Philip Marsley Grounds à Vefor ministère de santé commande tout le monde pour marcher et puis quatre identification pour faciliter registration yo et aussi ca encourager moun pour chebe yon ti manger léger et pour ni et aussi de l'eau du grand temps ou ca ni pour aspirer pour trouver la vaccine et monsieur madame c'est comme ça nous ca bout nouvelle la jodi a moi ca remercier autant pour ca garder moi ca avoir invitation pour je ne puis moi encore c'est dire comme ça veut la vie les gars pose toute l'autre nouvelle à cuire la présent moi ca vie pose tout chanel merci à pil primus that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Marvel.